such a need. Persons whose position or liability it is necessary to prove as against any party to the suit, if such statement should be relevant as against such persons in relation to such position, etc., etc., that is not a an ordinary case, it is an exceptional case, it just forgets, not very easy to understand or illustrate. Okay. Then, yes, persons, this is section 90. So, section 20, persons to whom a party to the suit has expressly referred for information. Expressly referred for, for information. Circumstance. The information should be in reference to a matter in dispute. Illustrations given in this uh, section itself, you can easy uh, suppose for a Alabriana for Sana Manga Mandrik. Either Nala Volitiano, the Nadana, is other Nadana Nadia, or a Alabra Nibu and the Kaisa or Yuji. Kaisa Brian, I use Nadana, the Nadana, but organic is other on it. Pressure Pinida and the one slide is organic. So, in a suit by that person against the owner of this particular man, he is entitled to prove that he, the owner of this article, told me to ask his Kairistan, his agent, his caretaker, and he told me that this is organic, this is a So, the owner is bound by the statement of his Kairistan, caretaker. This is called vicarious admission. This is called vicarious admission. You can see AR nineteen eighty five Supreme Court nine ninety eight AR nineteen eighty five Supreme Court nine ninety eight. This is called vicarious admission. The person who does not make the statement should take up the responsibility for the statement made by another person. Another person. Then AR 1992 Supreme Court 1356. AR 1992 Supreme Court 1356. So three tests are to be passed before a statement can be called an admission. The first is it should have the nexus with the fact in issue or a relevant fact in the case. The second is that it should be made by the persons mentioned in sections 18 to 20. The third is that it should be made in the circumstances mentioned in sections 18 to 20. And the statement made in a statement which is an admission in one case may not be an admission in another case or in a different circumstance. Now we see different classification of admissions. Classification of admissions. There's a classification of admission on different grounds. The first classification is statements declaring guilt of the maker of the statement. Statements declaring guilt, declaring guilt of the maker of the statement. Then the statements of facts other than guilt of the maker. That means it may be a confession or it may not be a confession. That though it is an admission. Then two, second classification on another ground. Admission may be judicial or formal, judicial in brackets formal, or evidentiary or informal. It is an admission by, by a party to a proceedings in the course of the proceedings in the court. That is a judicial proceedings. So it is, a, it is an admission made in court in a judicial proceedings or before a magistrate. Then, what is the peculiarity of it? It's a peculiar case is that it need not be proved. It need not be proved just like any other fact. For example, we say an accused submits before the court, yes, I have committed the offense. He is pleading guilty. He is pleading guilty. 
is a judicial oppression. It is a judicial oppression. What is the peculiarity of judicial admission? We shall see it later because it has a certain peculiarities. Then, suppose the defendant appears in the court and says that, yes, I admit the claims of the plaintiffs. That is a judicial admission. No other evidence is necessary for the court to pass the decree against the defendant. So, on the basis of the pleading guilty made by the accused in the court, the court can convict him without any, idea, any other evidence. It means that if it is a judicial admission, it need not be proved. No other proof is necessary. See, suppose an accused makes a, accused pleads guilty. The court does not examine the bench clerk or an advocate or the pleader to prove that he made such an admission. He made, uh, he, he pleaded guilty. Now that is not necessary. Then, the second category is evidentiary or informal admission. Evidentiary or informal or non-formal admission. It is covered by section 21. It is covered by section 21. Its peculiarity is that it should be proved like any other fact. That means if a party pleads that the other party has made an admission, then it should be proved either by examining the party, examining the witness, or by producing a document that he made such an admission. So this is called evidentiary admission. Because to prove it, evidence is necessary. Evidence is necessary. I have uh, discussed this matter in one of my judgments, a full, full one um, uh, full bench decision. I have dealt with all these uh, types of uh, uh, admissions. You may just uh, search for it and find out. It's a full bench decision of myself in a civil case. The uh, one judgment was written by Justice Chidabarish, another uh, judgment was written by me, and the third judge was uh, uh, Mr. Honorable Mr. Justice Sadish Nainan. So, in that judgment, I have discussed all these uh, types of classification of admissions. The question was whether this uh, not possible, an endorsement of not possible would amount to an admission. That was the question. That is necessary to decide to decide whether the plaintiff is entitled to half the court fees. It is whether it is just like a compromise. That was the question before us. The third classification is, it may be express or implied. It may be express or implied. Another classification is, it may be written or oral. It may be written or oral. What is the evidentiary value or impact of admission? The impact is that going by the provisions in the Indian Notice Act, say by when you read section 17, the section 17 does not mention whether it should be in favor or against a particular person. It simply says that. If it is suggest an inference as to any fact and issue, etc. Going by it, an admission in favor of a party to the proceedings made by himself is also an admission under section 17. But you must read section 21. You must read section 21. What does the section 21 say? Admissions are relevant. It declares that admissions are relevant and may be proved as against the person who makes them. So, under section, those terms, whether I am of a good character or bad character, whether I can prove my own statement that I am of a good character. 
Section 21 says, no, we can approve it. But if it is against me, if it is against me, the other party can prove it. If it is against the other party, I can prove it. This is what... Sir, I am not to. able to view the video, sir. Pardon? I am not able yes. to... Body I is not available. Not I available. accidentally touched it. I accidentally touched it. That's why. I don't know how it happened. Okay. No. So, um, okay, sir. Though section 17 gives an impression that it can be proved by the person in his favor who made the statement, section 21 says that it can be proved only by the other party. If it is, you can prove an admission as against the other party. Admissions are relevant and may be proved as against the person who makes them. That means only if it is against the interest of the party, it can be proved. That is by the other, pass, other party. And they cannot be proved by or on behalf of the person who makes them or by his representative in interest, except in the following circumstances, three exceptions are given. Ordinarily, they may not, uh, but uh, the first one we can see is section 32. The other person, we will discuss it later. Section 32 is there. Now, there is actually not much relevance. Then if it is relevant, otherwise then an admission. Okay. So, it can be proved only against the party who made it, not in favor of the party who made it. Though, by the definition, it becomes an admission. Then, now we shall consider judicial admission. Judicial admission. Judicial admission. In detail. Judicial admissions are formal admissions. That, that is why I told you that uh, pleading guilty, a statement admitting claims of the plaintiff, a statement in a return statement, etc. They are all admissions under section 58. Then, judicial admissions stand on a higher footing than the evidentiary or informal admission. They are conclusive unlike evidentiary admissions. That means the party cannot disprove it. What does it mean? Once an accused pleads guilty, he cannot prove it otherwise. He cannot later say that I am not guilty. AR 974 Supreme Court 471. AR 974 Supreme Court 471. He stands on a higher footing than the admission covered by section 21, which is only evidentiary admission. Then, the following are judicial admissions. Express admission in pleadings. Order 12 or Rule 1 under the Rule 6. I think you will get all these things in my judgment uh, because one of time I need not, uh, I need not uh, give all these details. Then, the maker of a judicial admission shall not be allowed to resign from it. That means a person who makes uh, or pleads guilty cannot later say that, no, 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 I am not guilty. I must be allowed to plead otherwise. Though some decisions say that you can do it. AR 2005 Supreme Court, AR 2005 Supreme Court, 8 not 10. The party who makes a judicial admission cannot withdraw it, cannot resign from it. AR 2005 Supreme Court 809. Oh. Then, an admission in an affidavit filed in the judicial proceedings is a judicial admission. AR 1996 Kerala 348. That means when you file an affidavit in an interlocutory proceedings, you must be very careful not to make an admission. What about a crime? What about a bail application? What about a bail application? 
an admission made by an accused in a bail application is a judicial admission. 2009, volume 7, SEC 685. So the junior advocates should be very careful in filing a bail application. No One score, sir. admission it, shall it, be made. It becomes a judicial admission. One yes. Uh, 2009, citation. 2009, volume 7, SEC 685. 685. Kishan Lal versus Dharmendra Bhapna. Only one decision on the point. Then we come to evidentiary admissions. That is admissions covered by section 21. Kishan Lal versus? Kishan Lal versus Dharmendra Bhafna. Thank you, sir. See, as it is a judicial proceedings and it is a substantive evidence, I'm sorry, it is, a, it is a binding on the party. Suppose a party makes an oral admission in a judicial proceedings, then the court should be very careful in getting it in writing or the court should record it and get the endorsement of the maker of the admission. That's why in pleading guilty, we get it recorded. Suppose in a suit, uh, in a suit, the defendant appears and says that he appears in person and submits before the court. I have received the summons. I have no dispute. The plain claim may be a uh, decree, may be allowed. The suit may be decreed. What the court is supposed to do, <coughs> the court cannot straight away decree the suit. The court should record the statement and get the signature of the defendant. So the court should be very careful in getting the admissions or consent of the parties in a writing or the court should record it and get the endorsement of the party. Then evidentiary admissions are covered by section 21. They are not formal admissions. It is not made in the judicial proceedings. We have seen that judicial proceedings are conclusive and the party cannot resign from it. The party cannot disown it. But in the case of evidential admission, the party can prove that it was erroneously made. It was wrongly made. AR 1974, Supreme Court 471. AR 1977, Supreme Court 17, sorry, 1974, Supreme Court 471. Though so it is not conclusive, see, where does it say it is not conclusive? Where does it say? Section 31. So, Section 21 should be read with Section 31. Section 31 says that admissions are not conclusive. Proof of the matter is admitted. That is why the Supreme Court has said that it can be disproved. It can be shown that it was wrongly made. But they may operate as a stopper under the provisions here and after contained. So, though it is not conclusive, and the party who made the admission can prove that it was wrongly made, if it operates as a stopple under Section 115, that means on the uh, belief that that statement was true, the other party changed his position, then it will operate as a stopple under Section 115. Then he cannot say that I, was, I wrongly made it, because the other person has already made a change in his position. That is 115. So, section 21 should be read with section 31. Then, it is the best evidence, though it is not conclusive. There may be shown, uh, sorry, it shifts the burden to the maker. AR 77, Supreme Court 1724. 
The maker can explain and show why it should not be acted upon. AR 1967 Supreme Court, 341. A year 2004 Supreme Court 4271. Suppose a statement made in one pleadings, it does not amount to an admission in that case, but it may amount to an admission in another case. <coughs> Suppose in a suit between A and B. For money, the defendant B in the in his return statement says that I have I have not borrowed any amount from A, but I have borrowed some one lakh rupees from D. It does not amount on admission in in the suit filed by A. But suppose D later files a suit against B, then this will amount to an admission. And it has to be proved like any other fact because it is not a judicial admission. It is not made in the proceedings between A and D. But it is a, sorry, B and D. But it is a proceedings between A and B. So this is evidential admission, not a judicial admission. See, A.R. 1960, Supreme Court, 100. Admission made in pleadings in another case is not judicial admission, but evidentiary admission, under covered by Section 21. AR 1960, Supreme Court 100. That means, the plaintiff who wants to rely on the admission made by the defendant in another case, should produce the certified copy or the original of the pleadings in the other case of the return statement in our case to prove that the defendant in this case had admitted his liability in the other suit. Then section 21 is applicable to both civil cases and criminal cases. Uh, Lordship, Lordship. Yes. Citation on the 1960 Supreme Court 100 Narayan versus Gobal. Moore. Uh, 1960 Supreme Court? 1960 Supreme Court, 100. 100. Okay. Narayan versus Gobal. Versus Gobal. Uh, sir, AR, sir? AR, AR. AR, thank you, thank you. Evidentiary application is relevant both in civil and criminal cases since Section 21 does not exclude its operation in criminal cases. So there cannot be a dispute that admission is applicable both to criminal and criminal, uh, civil and criminal cases. It can be proved. Sir, sir, yes. sir, 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 A and B is the formal, between A and B is informal, sir, 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 A files a suit against B, sir, claiming that B failed to repay the amount of 1 lakh rupees he had borrowed from A. Sir. B is the defendant. This is not an admission because he disowns it. He does not admit anything. Right? Sir. So it is not an admission in that case. Sir. So later, Sir. C files a suit against B. Sir. B were yana, ah, even then the relation to our eh? Relation to our medicine, suit of ideas. Upon the C was the Tavari another, B was the Tavari another. No, 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 I did not buy anything from him. I did not borrow any amount from him. Sir. Upon C were in the 
No, he admitted in the suit between him and Ye. He, I am not going to say that suit is. You are not going to say that you are not going to say that. So, it is an evidentiary admission. Because A and C and B and C and B are not going to say that suit. Can you? Another suit. There are other cases. So, it is not in that judicial procedure. So it is called uh, it is called evidentiary admission, and Adu prove it. I mean, reading so I just have to pay to copy of that. Sir, this is Anil. So that the production of the so-called pleading will be enough for uh, proving that admission. That is sufficient. That is sufficient because we have to pay to copy under section seventy six, seventy six. Sorry, seventy seven, seventy six, seventy seven. Both are applicable. Eighty, eighty. So that is sufficient to prove the contents. But in that case. In that case, it's a substantive evidence. What we should say, substantive evidence that alone can be the foundation for a decree or an order against the person. But our case is order is only be very hard. I in our case is that actually we need to clarify to understand it. I am not going to tell you the merits of the case and the details. That is section thirty-one. So, A and B in the middle of the suit are there. ബി പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ എയിൽ നിന്നോ ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ആവശ്യത്തിന് ഞാൻ എയിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു സൂട്ട് മേടിച്ചിട്ടില്ല ഞാൻ ആ കാര്യം നടന്ന എന്റെ പണയില്ല എന്നുള്ളത് ശരിയാണ് അത് ഞാൻ സിയിൽ നിന്ന് മേടിച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഈ കാര്യം നടത്തിയത് അപ്പോൾ അപ്പോൾ ബി പറയാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ സിയിൽ നിന്നും മേടിച്ചിട്ടത് ഞാൻ ശരിയാണ് അന്ന് അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു ആ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്തിനാണത് അത് എന്റെ സൂട്ടിന്റെ ആവശ്യത്തിന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ഇയാൾക്ക് ഒരു പൈസയും മേടിച്ചിട്ടുമില്ല He is entitled to disprove his admission, the truth of his admission. And that is section thirty-one, paragraph. He can be proved. He is not going to see. Burden shift on the other party. Right. Yes, burden is on the other party. The burden is on the other party. The burden is shifted. <coughs> admission, sorry, all the proofy and other the person who admitted it. And that is our third problem. It shifts the burden. It shifts the burden to the maker of the admission. Matiya nalla bhuvi endo. Yes. Now we come to. Uh, admission and confession. Admission and confession. Confession. What is confession? Confession is an admission. It is admission of guilt of the accused. It is an admission of the guilt of the accused. or the essential facts which constitutes which constitutes the offense this is the definition uh, approved by the supreme court so that is the only difference between admission and a confession a confession is always an admission but it is an admission of the guilt the ini aale kutti kolapadthi ennu parayunnu seriyaano kutcham cheyittundo cheyittundo that's an admission of guilt adhe samayam aale parayanadu njan 
പ്രതിയെ കണ്ടു ഞാൻ ഈ പറയുന്ന വിക്ടിമിനെ ഒഴിച്ചു കണ്ടു ആ കണ്ടപ്പോൾ എന്റെ കയ്യിൽ ഒരു കൊത്തിയിരുന്നു ഞാൻ അയാളെ കുത്തി അയാൾ മരിച്ചു കൂടി ഹിയർ ഹി ഡസ് നോട്ട് സേ ദാറ്റ് ഹി കമ്മിറ്റഡ് എ മർഡർ ഹി ഡസ് നോട്ട് സേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ കമ്മിറ്റഡ് മർഡർ ഓഫ് ദ വിക്ടിം ഹി ഓൺലി സേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ സ്റ്റാപ് ബീൻ ഹി ഡൈ സോ ഹിയർ ഹി ആഡ് മീൻസ് ഓൾ ദ ഫാക്ട്സ് ദ എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫാക്ട്സ് which constitute the offense that is also that is uh, that is a confession that is a confession yes <clears throat> always remember that admission should or admission including confession should always be voluntary it should be always be voluntary it should be read as a whole it should be read as a whole it should be read as a whole it should be voluntary ar 76 supreme court 376 ar 76 supreme court 376 and 1569 admission should be read as a whole this has some significance some knowledge is a great significance in criminal cases the statement should be read as a whole ar 52 supreme court 343 <coughs> ar 52 supreme court 343 and 354 then it should be clear and unambiguous it should be clear and unambiguous ar 71 supreme court 1542 ar 71 supreme court 1542 then confession is admission of guilt or substantially all the facts constituting the offense ar 1952 supreme court ar 1952 supreme court 354 ar 1952 supreme court 354 then the statement should be read as a whole the statement should be read as a whole to know whether it amounts to confession whether it amounts to confession ar 966 supreme court 119 119 ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് നമ്മൾ എടുക്കുക ഒരാളുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇതാണത് അയാളുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇങ്ങനെയാണെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കാം ഐ വാസ് ഡ്രങ്ക് ഞാൻ മദ്യപിച്ചിരുന്നു ഞാൻ ഒരു കാറ് നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് കിലോമീറ്റർ സ്പീഡിൽ ഓടിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു ഒരു നൂറ് ഒരു നൂറ് അടി അകലെ വെച്ച് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നൂറ് മീറ്റർ അകലെ വെച്ച് 
ഒരാള് റോഡ് ക്രോസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഞാൻ കണ്ടു ഞാൻ ഓൺ അടിച്ചില്ല കാട്ട് നിർത്താൻ ഞാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചില്ല കാറ് ആ മനുഷ്യനെ ഇടിച്ചു ആ മനുഷ്യൻ മരിച്ചുപോയി ഇതിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും വെതർ ഇറ്റ് അമോൺസ് കൺഫഷൻ ഓർ നോട്ട് വെതർ ഇറ്റ് അമോൺസ് കൺഫഷൻ ഓർ നോട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഓരോ സെന്റൻസ് എടുത്ത് നോക്കിക്കൊള്ളൂ ഞാൻ ഞാൻ മദ്യപിച്ചിരുന്നു മദ്യപിക്കരുത് നിയമമൊന്നുമില്ല എനിക്ക് എന്റെ വീട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് മദ്യപിക്കാം ഒരു സ്ഥലത്ത് മദ്യപിക്കരുത് പറ്റുന്നില്ല അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ മദ്യപിച്ചിരുന്നു എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എൻ അഫൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ കൺഫഷൻ ഞാൻ കാർ ഓടിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു അത് കാർ ഓടിക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എൻ അഫൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ കൺഫഷൻ നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് കിലോമീറ്റർ ആണ് സ്പീഡിലാണ് ഞാൻ ഓടിച്ചിരുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എൻ അഫൻസ് നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് കിലോമീറ്റർ എവിടെയാണ് ഓടിച്ചെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളത് ഏത് റോഡിലാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എൻ അഫൻസ് കൺഫഷൻ അല്ല ഞാൻ ഓൺ അടിച്ചില്ല ഞാൻ ഓൺ അടിച്ചില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കൺഫഷൻ അല്ല അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ഒരു തെറ്റുമില്ല ഓൺ അടിക്കണമെന്ന് എവിടെയെങ്കിലും ഇല്ല എപ്പോഴും ദെൻ ഞാൻ കാർ നിർത്താൻ ശ്രമിച്ചില്ല ആ സെന്റൻസ് മാത്രം നോക്കിയാൽ ഒരു കുറ്റവും ഇല്ല അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് കാർ ഒരാൾ ഇടിച്ചു അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ഒരു തെറ്റും ഇല്ല അതിനകത്ത് കാർ ഇടിച്ചു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒഫൻസ് അല്ല അയാൾ മരിച്ചുപോയി അയാൾ മരിച്ചുപോയി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒഫൻസ് അല്ല അപ്പൊ ഇതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ഓരോ സെന്റൻസും എടുത്തു നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒന്നിൻ്റെ അകത്തും എന്തില്ല ഒഫൻസ് ഇല്ല കൺഫഷൻ ഇല്ല പക്ഷെ ഇതെല്ലാം കൂടെ ഒന്നിച്ച് വായിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് അർത്ഥം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ ഒഫൻസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അഡ്മിഷൻ ഷുഡ് ബി റെഡ് ഓഫ് എ ഹോൾ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി റെഡ് ഓഫ് എ ഹോൾ ടു നോ വെതർ ഇറ്റ് യു എമൗണ്ട് ടു കൺഫഷൻ ഓർ നോട്ട് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞ കൺഫഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഓൺലി അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് മേക്കർ ഓർ അഡ്മിഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഓൺലി അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് മേക്കർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ദർ ഇസ് എൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻ ടു വിച്ച് ദാറ്റ് എക്സെപ്ഷൻ ഇസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻ ഇൻ സെക്ഷൻ തേർട്ടി കൺഫഷൻ അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് കോ എക്സ്റ്റ് സോ സെക്ഷൻ തേർട്ടി ഈസ് എൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻ ടു ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇൻ സെക്ഷൻ ട്വന്റി വൺ ദാറ്റ് അഡ്മിഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഓൺലി അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് മേക്കർ നോട്ട് ഇൻ ഹിസ് ഫേവർ ഇനി അഡ്മിഷനും കൺഫഷനും തമ്മിലുള്ള വ്യത്യാസം എന്താണ് അഡ്മിഷനും കൺഫഷനും തമ്മിലുള്ള വ്യത്യാസം വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സീൻ ഇറ്റ് അപ്പൊ നമുക്കറിയാം ഒരു എഫ് ഐ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഫയൽ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അത് സപ്പോസ് ദി എഫ് ഐ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ ദി അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഹിംസെൽഫ് അക്യൂസ്ഡ് തന്നെ കൊടുക്കുന്ന എഫ് ഐ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ആണത് അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഭാര്യയെ കൊന്നതിന് ശേഷം ഷീ ഹി ഗോസ് ടു ദ പോലീസ് സ്റ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യൂസ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് it is recorded because it reveals a cognizable offense it is recorded and the case was registered whether it can be proved whether it can be proved we know that section 25 says that no admission made to no confession made to a police officer shall be proved No confession made to a police officer shall be uh, proved. Section 25. Confession to police officer not to be proved. No confession made to a police officer shall be proved. Ask against a person accused of any offense. This is the uh, prohibition contained in section 25. So far as a statement given under section 161 CRPC. there is a prohibition contained in section 162 cr see it is a rule of ordinance but a fair statement is not a statement given under section 161 cr see what is the difference that is under section 155 eh pardon it is it's under 154 a fair statement ah what is the difference actually 
it is signed by the person who is making the commercial oh, virus uh, that is not the evidentiary law of evidence that is not the reference. it can be used for uh, uh, contradiction as well as for corroboration no what is the essential difference the essential difference is this and a face statement is recorded before the investigation is started a statement under section 161 is recorded after the investigation is started so it is in the course of the investigation that is the essential difference the under section 154 a face statement is recorded and under section 161 the other statements are recorded <coughs> but the difference is this the face statement is the cause of investigation if the cause only because of the fa statement the investigation started so a fa statement is not part of investigation it is not recorded in the course of investigation that's why the bar under section 163 is not applicable to section uh, uh, not applicable to fa statement it is not in the course of the investigation but it is before the investigation fa statement is recorded so One fifty two bar is not applicable. Then what is the bar? The bar is in section twenty five. Section twenty five says that a confession to a police officer is not admissible. It cannot be proved against an accused. Against an accused. But at the same time, if the admission does not amount to confession, confession, there is no bar. Section twenty five is applicable only if it amounts to a confession of the accused. A statement can be made by an accused which amounts to an admission, but not a confession. If it amounts to an admission only and not confession, though it is made by an accused, it can be proved. So we have followed it. Is that correct? Repeat. I am following it. And the accused goes to the police station and gives the statement, the first statement, that he committed the murder of his wife. The police naturally should record it and register the case under Section Three Hundred Two APC. Then it cannot be used for any purpose under Section Three Hundred Two because of the bar under Section Twenty Five. The bar under Section Twenty Five operates, and the first statement cannot be proved. Because it amounts to a confession. The question here is: Section twenty-five is not applicable to admission, which does not amount to confession. Who the hell are you talking about? Hey, hello. This is one of the biggest issues in the world. I am talking about the same thing. 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 രണ്ട് ദിവസം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഞാൻ അവിടെ തിരിച്ചു വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ എന്റെ വീട് തട്ടി കരിഞ്ഞു കിടക്കുന്നത് കണ്ടു അതിൽ ഒരു ശവശരീരവും കരിഞ്ഞു കിടക്കുന്നു കണ്ടു അത് എന്റെ ഭാര്യയുടെ നടപടി എടുക്കണം Can this a face statement be proved? What's the question? What's the test? Does it amount to confession? It does not amount to confession because it does not say that he committed the murder or any essential ingredient. I have done that. So we can do that. So we can do that. So we can be proved. Correct. Yes. Does it amount to admission? Yes, sir. What is the admission? It is voluntary made. Sir. It is just voluntary made. All the formalities of admission is there. What is the admission? What is the fact admitted there? My home and my wife, sir. Eh? My home and my wife. Ah, you are right. How it becomes relevant? Is it related to some uh, the statement should? Suggest an inference as to a fact in issue or fact. relevant fact. A relevant fact. 
അപ്പൊ അത് ഏതാണ് നെക്സസ് എങ്ങനെ പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് So that means the prosecution need not prove the identity of the victim. It has to be evidentiary admission. It has to be evidentiary admission. That means it is a conclusive one. So it is, it is a substantive evidence, though it is not conclusive. Right? So that's the difference between admission and confession. Admission and confession. Where are the other ones? What are you talking about? അവിടെ കണ്ട തെരുപ്പ് എന്റേതാണ് അവിടെ കണ്ട തെരുപ്പ് എന്റേതാണ് ബിക്കോസ് ഹിസ് പ്രസൻസ് ഇസ് പ്രൂവ് ഹിസ് പ്രസൻസ് ഇസ് പ്രൂവ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് കമൌണ്ട് എമൗണ്ട് കൺഫെഷൻ ബട്ട് ഇൻ സജസ്റ്റ് ഹിസ് പ്രസൻസ് ദ വിച്ച് ഇസ് റെലവൻസ് സോ ഓൾ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ്സ് a confession should be an admission and admission should be a statement in other words only if there is a statement there is an admission only if there is an admission there is a confession but all statements are not admissions all admissions are statements all confessions are admissions but all admissions are not confessions idana angotte ingotte nammal dirichariyana kaaryam idana idhe theto pradhana petta kaaryangal so the identity of the body of the victim or the identity of the footwear of that particular scene at the place of occurrence is relevant under section 21 of the evidence act so it can be proved a year 1964 supreme court 1850 a year 1964 supreme court 1850 fadi versus state of md mb Fadi versus state of MB. But though the FA statement which amounts to confession cannot be proved because the bar under section 25 conduct of the accused going to the police station and giving the information can be proved under section 8 under section 8 because that amounts to con- conduct of the accused conduct of the accused suppose this uh, uh, blood dripping from the knife with that knife he is going to the police station and he hands it over to the police is the conduct relevant under section 8 so that is that can be proved ar 966 supreme court 119 act on the case here versus state of bihar is a very important decision so far as confession is concerned admission and confessions are concerned ar 966 supreme court 119 an admission may be an incriminating one but if it does not amount to admission though it is incriminating it is admissible 
ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അഡ്മിസിബിൾ ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ ഭാര്യയുടെ ഭാര്യയുടെ ജനമാണ് കിടക്കുന്നത് ഡെഡ് ബോഡി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻക്രിമിനേറ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻക്രിമിനേറ്റിംഗ് So, what is the difference between crimination and confession? Crimination and confession. Crimination is a tendency to make guilt probable. Crimination is the tendency to make guilt probable. It is probable. It leads to it. But confession is the potency to make a crime conclusive. Confession is the potency to make a crime conclusive. That is the potential. That is Nandini Sattari's case, AR 1978, Supreme Court 1025. AR 1978, Supreme Court 1025. Even though an admission is criminative, incriminative its admission is not barred if it does not amount to confession so the test is whether it amounts to confession or not the test i have already given you whether it admits the guilt or the essential facts the material facts which constitute the guilt this is the only test given by the supreme court yes Take an example whether the accused says that E pradiyya kutiyya gati Yenda katiyya madhu Nyanadu kalinya dhuvusam Uru kolla nye kondu ondak nye chudha madhu Iti nye kutiyya admit confession ondo No confession Ayelu kundu nirradu mbara yinila kutiyya nore yinila kundu mbara yinila He says that he is the owner of the knife He got it made by a, uh, uh, this uh, person by just Dave Forrest today. Blacksmith. Blacksmith by Dave, Dave Forrest today. Just a recent possession. So what does it mean? It means that there is a probability. There is a probability. It makes probable. Still, it is not a confession. That is... AR 1964 Supreme Court, sorry, AR 1939 PC, AR 1939 PC 47, the famous Pakkala Narana Sami case, AR 1939 PC Privy Council 47. Then, you can note down one decision or recent decision which gives the definition, the distinction between admission and confession. Difference. A year 2019 Supreme Court 3363. Vibhad Bhai Jagadish Chandra Patel versus State of Gujarat. The same decision it is held that admission made by four investigation started is admissible. That is admission made in the FA statement. A year 2019 Supreme Court 3363. But if it is made after the registration of the case, whether it is given by accused or not, it is hit by section 162. It is hit by section 162. Yes. Now we will come to section 25 we have already seen that any admission made to a police officer is uh, admissibility is prohibited. So the admission should be voluntarily. voluntary. That is the basic fact we have to uh, take into consideration. Section 24 mentions the vitiating circumstances. Section 24 gives the vitiating circumstances. 
what are the vitiating circumstances it was obtained appears to have been caused by inducement threat or promise proceeding from a person in authority then it is not voluntary it is not voluntary anyway whether it is voluntary or not is a question of fact so the first thing to be proved should be proved that what should be proved is that it is voluntary then the second law is that if it is made to a police officer it is totally inadmissible section 25 so vitiating facts are given in section 24 non vitiating facts are given in section 29 non vitiating facts are given in section 29 confession otherwise relevant not to become irrelevant because of promise or secrecy adana section 29 namukku detailed aayittu vaana samayil aayittu namukku adu vittu kayala athrey theedu poonda kaaryam then confession after removal of the effect of vitiating circumstances vitiating facts section 28 apart three sections we have to see what are the vitiating facts section 24 what are not vitiating facts section 29 then confession made after vitiating facts uh, after removal of the effect of vitiating facts section 29 idu moonu nammal orumichu padikya then we come to section uh, when we come to section 26 26 <coughs> confession by accused by the custody of police not to be proved against him no confession made by any person whilst he is in the custody of a police officer unless it be made in the immediate presence of a magistrate shall be proved as against such person so in section 25 what is the uh, uh, on what term the emphasis is given so one way of understanding different the understanding the difference between 25 and 26 the emphasis is on what under section 25 police officer no confession made to police officer okay. but in section 26 the stress is on what Presence of magistrate. Custody. 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 So under Section Twenty Five, the accused may or may not be in police custody. The question is whether to whom it was made. If it is to a police officer, whether the accused was in custody or not, it is irrelevant. It is irrelevant. But in Section Twenty Six. the emphasis is on custody the question the first question is in whose custody he was he was in the police custody okay finish the second question is whether it was made to uh, uh, accused whether it was made to police officer or not so in section 25 and 26 the first question is whether it is an admission the second question is whether it is a whether it is a confession the third is whether it is made to police officer the fourth is whether the it was made while he was in the custody accused was in the custody of the police officer inginiyana nammal adine trace edittikkanad aale section like nammal varumbodeyke so here we see but a police custody la irikkanu mathrame ullu the person to whom the confession is made is irrelevant see in section 25 custody is relevant the question is to whom it was made it is it the police officer but in section 26 what is to be proved is he was in the custody of the police officer whether the confession was made to police officer or not is irrelevant so two facts he was in custody confession made out 
the first uh, under section 25 confession made police officer out these are the two questions we have to ask in section 25 and section 26 different questions now the question is what does it mean no confession made by any person whilst he is in the custody of a police officer unless it be made in the immediate presence of magistrate shall be proved as against such person then number classic example kandirikkunnu evadiya evadiya dying declaration alla 164. Media itu mungkin beri mana ada gunung yang hangat agam itu? SP, SP itu kafe yang kita ni ni dijumpai. Harkan tu belok, apa itu beri tu polis sekarang tu? Orang pergi kan? Le, pergi ya, anggota macam itu tu. Ini tu SP, Eman, pergi orang itu kari mana? Ah, orang tu pergi urut kerja kita, logo mula mula kerja kita, media itu pergi urut kerja ni yang ni ada jenis itu. Apa orang pergi urut ni? Jangan ini ini ni ada jenis itu. So the accused in custody of police, correct? It is not made to police officer. It is made to whom? It is made to the media, the whole world. Live on the other It is made in the custody, but it is not made to the police officer, but it is made to the media, the police, the public. Section 27 coverage. Section 27 cover. Do you remember any case in which this question in the in the same on the basis of the same facts came up for consideration? Parliament attack case. Navajyod Sandhu State. AR 2005 Supreme Court 3820. AR 2005 Supreme Court 3820. Here the thrust is on police custody. To whom the confession is made is irrelevant. AR 1961 Supreme Court 1625. Sorry, 1125. 61 Supreme Court 1125. Then, so what is prohibited under section 26? What is prohibited under section 26 is only proof of confession. So two facts. Then 26, you uh, note down two facts. Confession, put in police custody. That is all. To whom it is made is irrelevant. So what is prohibited? Only confession. Suppose it is an admission only, not a confession. Can it be proved? Can it be proved? If it is made to, even though it is only an admission, if it is made to a police officer, it is given by section 162. If it is not made to a police officer, but to someone else, then an admission is, proof of an admission is not prohibited. So, 26 hits, only confession.
S26 applicable. It's not a confession, but only admission. It's not a confession, only admission is there. It's not a confession because he here. Yan put the ball in a lot of the video. The Maricia Yen put the ball in a kibaja. About the confession, Yan ended the pitchy man. Avana and the putty, then the putty ball there. But it is admission. How it becomes admission? Presence is admitted. ോ <laughs> Then you may also note down AR nineteen ninety eight Supreme Court one four zero six. CBA versus BC Shukla was the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. Then, AR nineteen seventy seven Supreme Court four ninety six. AR nineteen seventy seven Supreme Court four nine six. B A Ramesh versus State of AP. Then, AR nineteen ninety Now we come to section twenty-seven. Section twenty-seven. Section twenty-seven is an exception to sections twenty-five and twenty-six. Section twenty-seven. We can also speed point. I have been told. Section twenty-seven. It is an exception. This is the one of the two sections which start with provided. They see section twenty-seven, provided that the other section which starts with the provided is section hundred and eight, which is an exception to section hundred and seven. So there are two sections in the Indian Evidence Act which start with the word provided. So it is a provide, it is a proviso to the earlier sections twenty-six and twenty-seven, provided that when you, any fact is deposed to or dis as discovered. In consequence of information received from a person accused of any offence, in the custody of police officer, so much of such information, whether it amounts to confession or not, as relates to distinctly to the fact thereby discovered, may be proved. So here, here we have to see. The first uh, each word, each term in this section has been explained by the Supreme Court. By the Supreme Court, this is what I am saying. Section twenty-five and section twenty-six are not part of the calculation of the law. Notwithstanding what is stated in sections twenty-five and twenty-six. If a fact, of course, a relevant fact, is deposed to have been recovered or discovered, अब नमले पर ये ना recovery जाने जा सकता। recovery ना रहती तो ना गिल। Suppose उरे confession statement इल ना ना recovery ना रहती ना गिल। Section twenty five is no bar to prove the recovery or discovery। अब section twenty five is no bar to prove Discovery of a fact. Section twenty six is no bar to prove discovery of a fact. Discovery of a fact. So, what are the conditions? 
the first condition is i shall first take <coughs> the term nadu bhagath parayunnundu in the custody of a police officer appo information should have been received from the during the custody of the police officer nan as word term parayan oru kaaranundu custody ennu parayunnathu nammal evade kaanunnundu section 26 il kaanunnathu appo section 26 ilum 26 7 ilum parayna custody ida artham endana is it necessary that the police should arrest him or whether it is sufficient that he is not in uh, he is not arrested still section 27 can be applied 26 can be applied this is the question yes custody the principle is this in every arrest there is custody but in every custody there is no arrest namaku vallare elupu nu parayam elupu nu kaanikkan sadikkum oru penkutiye kaanal poi man missing case man missing case aidagathu police aale penkutiye kandedukunu endu eeyu he will be produced he will be produced before the magistrate consent or in habeas corpus petition before the high court idana procedure nu parayunnathu അപ്പോൾ മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഹൈക്കോടതി എന്ത് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്യണം ദ മിസ്സിംഗ് പേഴ്സൺ ഈസ് എങ്ങനെ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്തത് ആ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഇൻ കസ്റ്റഡി അല്ലെ സാധാരണ പ്രതിയാണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ എഴുതും arrested and produced before me alle eh yeah? he is arrested and yes. produced before me nello mattha arrest nalla vaaku uyogikkilla karan endha but he is in custody custody illada kondiran pattillallo so what does it mean it is a protective custody so when a victim is a person is missing the police takes him or her into custody and that custody is called a protective custody nissalo protective custody so for custody arrest is not necessary allad victim ne arrest cheyan pattilla so she is taken into protective custody and produced before the magistrate so custody does not mean arrest to attract section 25 26 and 27 arrest is not necessary custody alone is sufficient vera onnu vicharikka custody ennu parayunnathu engane aagam constructive custody aagam this movement are restricted ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് വിചാരിക്കുക ഒരു കേസ് കൗണ്ടർ കേസ് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്ത് കേസ് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്ത് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്തിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്ത് ഇതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് യഥാർത്ഥ വില്ലന്മാർ വേഗം പോയി പോലീസ് ആശുപത്രി പോയി അഡ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് അഡ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് അഡ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് കിടക്കുമ്പോൾ പോലീസിന് കാര്യം മനസ്സിലായി എന്ത് ഇവനാണ് യഥാർത്ഥ പ്രതി അല്ലെ അപ്പൊ പോലീസ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇവൻ ഡിസ്ചാർജ് ചെയ്ത് മേടിക്കാതെ മേടിക്കുന്നു നോക്കി നിന്നുണ്ട് സർവൈലൻസ് ഏർപ്പെടുത്തും ചുറ്റും നിരീക്ഷണത്തെ നിരീക്ഷകരെ ഏർപ്പെടുത്തും അല്ലെ പോലീസ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റലിൽ തന്നെ പോലീസുകാരെ പോസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യും കാരണം ഇവൻ പോകുന്നുണ്ടോ ഓടി പോകുന്നുണ്ടോ ഇല്ലോ എന്നറിയാനായിട്ട് സോ ഹി ഇസ് ഇൻ പോലീസ് കസ്റ്റഡി ഓർ നോട്ട് ദ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് ഹെസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സഫിഷ്യന്റ് പോലീസ് സർവൈലൻസ് ഈസ് നെസസറി ടു അറ്റ്രാക്ട് ദ ടൈം കസ്റ്റഡി കസ്റ്റഡി ഹിസ് ഇഫ് ഹിസ് മൂവ്മെന്റ്സ് ആർ സോട്ട് ടു ബി റിസ്ട്രിക്റ്റഡ് ദെൻ that is custody that is custody then section 26 and 27 are attracted uh, arrest is not necessary that is ar 60 supreme court 1125 meaning custody the first time sir will you please repeat 60 supreme court ar 1960 to bring out 1125 which is a very important case so far as confession is concerned recovery is concerned then ar 10 2010 supreme court 1007 ar 2010 supreme court 
അപ്പോൾ ട്വന്റി സിക്സും ട്വന്റി സെവനിലും കസ്റ്റഡി മതി അറസ്റ്റ് വേണമെന്നില്ല ബട്ട് ദർ ഇസ് വൺ ഡിസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കേരള ഹൈക്കോർട്ട് ബൈ ലേണൻ സിംഗിൾ ജഡ്ജ് എ ഫ്യൂ ഇയേഴ്സ് അഗോ ദാറ്റ് അറസ്റ്റ് ഈസ് നെസസറി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് പെറിൻ കൂറിയം അത് നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചാൽ മതി ഞാൻ പറയുന്നില്ല അതാ അത് ഒരു എൻ ഡി പി എസ് കേസിനുണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറയുന്നില്ല ഏതാണെന്നുള്ളത് ജസ്റ്റ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് അപ്പൊ കസ്റ്റഡി എന്നുള്ള അർത്ഥം മനസ്സിലായല്ലോ നൗ വി കം ടു ദി provided that when any fact fact what is a fact what is a fact a fact is defined fact includes means and includes anything state of things or relation of things capable of being perceived by the senses or many mental condition that's mens rea mens rea all right mental condition upon knowledge 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 also is a fact upon any fact fact includes knowledge mental condition section 3 nammal recover ikka avada knowledge inde artham kodukkana angane aanu the fact should be relevant that fact should be relevant that is ar 2019 supreme court 1367 the fact should be relevant then the next way provided that when any fact is deposed what do you mean by depose to depose means to give oral evidence depose means to give oral evidence that means the police officer should depose to it ayalu mulli parayanam ee prathi ennodu idu paranju ennu adu njan kandeduthu ennu അല്ലാതെ പ്രതി പറഞ്ഞ മൊഴിയുടെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ഞാൻ കണ്ടെടുത്തു എന്ന് മാത്രം പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് കാര്യമില്ല എന്ത് പറഞ്ഞു എന്ന് അയാൾ പറയണം സോ ഡിപ്പോസ് ടു മീൻസ് ടു ഗീവ് ഓറൽ എവിഡൻസ് ടെസ്റ്റ് മണി നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഡിസ്കവേഡ് വട്ട് ദീസ് മെൻ ബൈ ഡിസ്കവേഡ് ഡിസ്കവേഡ് ഡിസ്കവർ യു ക്യാൻ ഡിസ്കവർ എ തിങ് ഉള്ളി ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കവേഡ് only a covered thing can be discovered once uncovered you cannot discover it so that is why in some cases it is that if it is in an open area you cannot discover it but even in an open area it can be discovered because it remained hidden from the views of others nammal ipo vadiyil oru katti erinj kalayunu povunavar ellam vadiyil ingane oru katti kadappanu nokki allalla povunu nammal angane povu thanne nammada kannil pedilla it does not come to our notice adine artham adhe ullu concealment so discovered a fact once discovered cannot be discovered again ar 56 supreme court 217 then ar 70 supreme court ar 70 supreme court 1934 AR 88 Supreme Court 1705 ini und thrumadi then about what is to be deposed a fact is deposed to us a discovery so discovery of fact not to recover your facts so discover your facts we have to understand that meaning of the term discover your facts what is meant by discover your facts discover your facts embraces three things moonu karyangal undengile ee section 20 sum parayna discover your fact aagullu adu moonam vidam adu one the knowledge of the accused nammal nerthe parna section 3 anusarichu fact aanu parna so the knowledge of the accused about the concealment about the concealment 
the second issue the knowledge of the accused about the price of concealment and three recovery of the material objects recovery of the material objects ഇത് മൂന്നും കൂടെ കൂടുമ്പോൾ മാത്രമേ സെക്ഷൻ ട്വന്റി സെവൻ അട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ ഇത് മൂന്നും കൂടെ കൂടുമ്പോഴേ സെക്ഷൻ ട്വന്റി സെവൻ അട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ അല്ലാതെ വേറൊരാൾ കൊണ്ട് ഇടുന്നത് കണ്ടാൽ കൊള്ളാം മനസ്സിലായല്ലോ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അവിടെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മൾ ഓരോന്നോരോന്നും കാണാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഇത് കാണാവുന്നത് എ ഇ ആർ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ സുപ്രീം കോടതി സിക്സ്റ്റി സെവൻ പുലിക്കുറിക്കോട്ട ഇയാർ കേസ് എ ഇ ആർ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ സുപ്രീം കോടതി പി സി സോറി എ ഇ ആർ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ പി സി സിക്സ്റ്റി സെവൻ ും in between there are some decisions you can find out because the software you also then place nammal parna concealment of a place the place of concealment is wrong. place means what nammal pala cases ilum kandittunde njan oshicha aabharanam kondu poi inna kadakkarinte kayil kodutu kadakkaran de eduthu kodutu so is it a place of recovery concealment yes person includes sorry place includes persons place includes persons ar 70 supreme court 1934 ar 2017 supreme court 279 and 3441 3441 then a recovery of material object is necessary a recovery of material object is necessary alada sarnam kandeduthillengil or no evidence is available ayal anganum ayala statement is not cannot be recorded only if there is a recovery of material object it can be recovered but there is one decision to the contrary that is not good law why it is necessary the principle behind this is what section 27 the principle is this it is confirmation by subsequent event what is that subsequent event only recovery of material object only recovery of material object so unless there is recovery of material or that there cannot be discovery of fact so no question of attraction of section 27 you just uh, note down this decision discovery becomes complete discovery becomes complete on a recovery of the object only one decision 1997 volume 10 is easy 675 but the recovery may be from another place recovery may be from another place karan udaharanathana avan aa kathi avade konde ittu ore cherukkamare kalichu poya oru kathi vetti avan adu eduthu kondu അതും ഇതും ചെത്തിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് പോലീസ് അവിടെ ചെന്ന് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഈ സാധനം അവിടെ ഇല്ല ഉടനെ ആ പിള്ളേർ പറയും ദേ ദേ കത്തി അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് കൺസീൽമെന്റ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ഡിസ്കവർ ബട്ട് സെക്ഷൻ ട്വന്റി സെവൻ ഈസ് ആപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രൂവ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് കൺസീൽഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ദയർ ഇറ്റ്സ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് വാസ് പ്രൂവ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സിക്സ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് ക്രിമിനൽ ലോ ജേണൽ നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് ക്രിമിനൽ ലോ ജേണൽ One three six two. Nineteen 
Then the next question is authorship of concealment. Authorship of concealment. In the morning, I'll Nyan Kathi out of a chit on the Barano. Other Kathi out of a chit on the Barano, the Ari with two in the Barandio. Then a question. Palapurim and a police is the break. Which statement did the Adi Matrame Nyan Ganu? In the Ella, what a sentence I can move it. A people in a particular Kathi out of Kundu, which it under the Nyan Ganadu. A police movie or Imba and Yan Whether that will attack section 27 is the question. No, section 27 is not attracted. Karnam, number one, authorship of knowledge of concealment is necessary. Knowledge of concealment is necessary. And knowledge may be, Anginagam, Palagar, where all Paranjan is there, where all would be within the land of the But it is necessary that, for the purpose of section 20, it is necessary that he himself concealed it. Authorship of concealment is necessary. Uh, AR 1976, Supreme Court. Author 1976, Supreme Court 483. Then there is another decision. Discovery mostly and really is as regards the authorship of concealment, AR 1979 Supreme Court. Then, AR 1983 Supreme Court. Then, AR 1983 Supreme Court. But it's somewhat a different view. We cannot say it is a parent game has been taken by the Kerala for full bench of the Kerala High Court in 2011. One KLT 11 1 KLT H these Supreme Court decisions are not cited not cited yes okay now we see if the information as to the ownership is vague, Section 27 is not attracted. AR 81 Supreme Court 911. If the information as to the ownership is vague, Section 27 is not attracted. AR 81 Supreme Court 911. <clears throat> Then, the information was given to one police officer, but the recovery was by another police officer. Still, it is valid. I need not explain it because there is no type. AR 72 Supreme Court 975. Information to one police officer, recovery by another police officer. AR 72 Supreme Court 975. Then, 
information given was given to the police but it was recovered without the assistance of the accused accused ne kondu vayunnilla recovered it so that the statement vanna ornal thane ayaku covid pidichu ayaku covid pidichu ayala kondu van pattilla appo police officer thaniya jenninge eduthu there is nothing wrong in it because section 27 does not say that it should be recovered with the assistance of the police uh, with the accused that is uh year 2005 supreme court 3820 parliament attack is then information in one case which is the relevant in another case so the recovery is made in the other case or in this present case അപ്പൊ ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് പറയല്ലേ ഒരു മൂവാറ്റുപുഴ അമ്പലത്തിൽ മോഷ്ടിച്ച ആളെ കൊണ്ടു നടന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോഴേക്ക് അയാൾ പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ കൂത്താട്ടുപുഴ അമ്പലത്തിലെ പ്രതിഷേധം കൂടെ മോഷ്ടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് വിഗ്രഹം കൂടെ മോഷ്ടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അതും റിക്കവർ ചെയ്തു ബട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് റെലവന്റ് ഇൻ ദ അതർ കേസ് നൈൻറ്റീൻ വൺ ഡിസിഷൻ നൈൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻ ടെൻ എസ് ഇ സി സിക്സ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് recovery from public place public place It can be i have already told you ar uh, 2011 supreme court 972 then open area recovery from open area ar 2002 supreme court 16 ar 2013 supreme court 3349 അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ റിക്കവറി ഡിസ്കവറി ഓഫ് ഫാക്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞു ഇനി the discovery of fact should be in consequence of information so it should be the result of the information it should be the result of the information what is meant by information what is meant by information 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 may or may not be a statement information may or may not be a statement udaharanathine moshija sahanathinte taakol prathi kodutu he handed over there. that is sufficient that is the information received that the key is in the custody of the accused AR 62 Supreme Court 1116 AR 62 Supreme Court 1116 AR 72 Supreme Court 975 AR 78 Supreme Court 1574 then information need not be a statement it follows that it need not be a confession information need not be a confession ar 83 supreme court 349 
then there is no information but there is recovery no information but there is recovery ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് സെർച്ച് നടത്തുമ്പോൾ കിട്ടുന്നു റെയ്ഡ് നടത്തുമ്പോൾ കിട്ടുന്നു ഇതൊക്കെ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഇല്ല ബട്ട് റിക്കവറി ഈസ് ദയർ സെക്ഷൻ ട്വന്റി സെവൻ നോട്ട് അട്രാക്റ്റഡ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് മേ അട്രാക്ട് സെക്ഷൻ എയ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് എക്സസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദിസ് അക്യൂസ് ഡാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സെക്ഷൻ എയ്റ്റ് എ ഇയർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫോർ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ സിക്സ്റ്റി ടു A year 79 Supreme Court 400. There are many other decisions in between. Then. recovery from a person yan parannu place includes person and kodi idum kodi illa recovery from a person ar 70 supreme court already given ar to 2000 supreme court 138 A year 2017 Supreme Court, 279 and 3441. Then, information in the form of joint statements joint statements of several accused the supreme court first held that it violates subsection 3 of section 161 karan oru oru thru oru oru thru statement edukkona nadu appo pinna sabhya vela pinne another case the supreme court said it does not make any sense കാരണം ജനഗണന പാടുന്നത് എല്ലാവരും കൂടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് നടത്താൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ദെൻ അത് എ ഇയർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി സിക്സ് സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് ടു തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ദെൻ എ ഇയർ എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി സെവൻ പക്ഷെ ഈ അടുത്ത കാലത്ത് ഒരു സുപ്രീം കോടതി ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ പറഞ്ഞത് അതായത് ഒന്നാം പ്രതിയെ എസ് ഐ ഒരു മുറിയിലിരുന്ന് ജോലി ചെയ്യുന്നു രണ്ടാം പ്രതിയെ സി ഐ വേറൊരു മുറിയിലിരുന്ന് ചോദ്യം ചെയ്യുന്നു മൂന്നാം പ്രതിയെ വേറൊരു മുറിയിലിരുന്ന് ഡി വി എസ് പി ചോദ്യം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഒരേ സമയം അപ്പൊ മൂന്ന് പേരും ഈ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ കൊടുത്തു മൂന്ന് പേരെയും കൂടെ പോലീസ് കൊണ്ടുപോയി മൂന്ന് പേരും ചേർന്ന് അത് റിക്കവറി എടുത്തു കൊടുത്തു ഇതാണ് ഈ അവസാനം സുപ്രീം കോടതി പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ അതിന് ഒരു കുഴപ്പവും ഇല്ലെന്ന് സുപ്രീം കോടതി പറഞ്ഞത് അത് എ ഇയർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റീൻ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് ടു സെവൻറ്റി നയൻ എന്നാൽ എർലിയർ ദ സുപ്രീം കോടതി ഹാൻഡ് ഹെൽത്ത് എല്ലാവരും കൂടെ പോയിന്റ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോ വാല്യൂ എന്ന് സുപ്രീം കോടതി നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് വൺ സിക്സ് സെവൻ എ ഇയർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് വൺ സിക്സ് സെവൻ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് നോ വാല്യൂ
അടുത്തത് പേഴ്സൺ അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓഫ് എൻ അഫൻസ് അതാണ് അടുത്ത ടൈം പേഴ്സൺ അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓഫ് എന്താ പറയുന്നത് റിസീവ് ഫ്രം എ പേഴ്സൺ ദ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ റിസീവ് ഫ്രം എ പേഴ്സൺ അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓഫ് എൻ അഫൻസ് വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് മീൻ മീൻ പേഴ്സൺ അക്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓഫ് അഫൻസ് It is only description of the accused. This evidence act is relevant to the police. The rule of evidence is relevant to the police custody. It is not relevant to the police custody. Then, the status of one another is the status of one another. Then, he should be an accused when the evidence is being given. It is the description of the person against whom the evidence is sought to be given. It is the description of the person against whom the evidence is sought to be given. It means that an accused is not when the, he need not be an accused. when the statement is given when the information is given so to attract section 27 the informant need not be an accused at that time layer 60 supreme court 1125 layer 2010 supreme court 1007 ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ പറഞ്ഞ് അറസ്റ്റ് വേണോ എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടെന്നുള്ളത് അല്ലെ അത് ഇതിന്റെ അകത്തും അങ്ങനെ ഇതിന്റെ അകത്ത് അറസ്റ്റ് ഇല്ല എന്നാ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അക്യൂസ്ഡ് അല്ല എന്നാ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് നോട്ട് ചെയ്തു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇനി അബദ്ധം പറ്റും അത് ആരെങ്കിലും കയറി സൈറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഫോർ കെ എൽ ജി ബഡ് സി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പറൻ കൂടിയം ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ വോളിയം ഫോർ കെ എൽ ജി നയൻ നയൻറ്റി ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പറൻ കൂടിയം then authorship of consignment information uh, then appo adu parnu in the custody of police officers so much of such information see what does it say the heading itself says how much of the information not the entire information but the part of the information only a part which part which is distinctly related to the discovery to the fact discovered only that part the entire confession is not admissible distinctly means sorry so much of the information meaning the entire confession or information is not admissible ar 60 supreme court 1125 constitution bench AR 60 Supreme Court 1125 only that part which is distinctly related to the discovery is admissible then AR 2019 Supreme Court 1674 but you may come across a decision of the Supreme Court to the contrary there all the items Supreme Court the ആ കൺഫഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് മുഴുവനും റിലേ ചെയ്ത ഒരു ഡിസിഷൻ ഈ അടുത്ത കാലത്ത് വന്നു എ ആർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് നയൻറ്റി ടു ഏതായാലും ഒരു പ്രോസിക്യൂട്ടർ ഇതുവരെ അത് സൈറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല എ ആർ തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് എ ആർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് നയൻറ്റി ടു അത് എഴുതി അതേ ജഡ്ജി ഉൾപ്പെട്ട ബെഞ്ചാണ് സുപ്രീം കോടതിയിൽ എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ആ ജഡ്ജി അല്ലെങ്കിലും തിരിച്ച് എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് മനസ്സിലായില്ല നിങ്ങൾ വായിച്ചു നോക്കുമ്പോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാവും സോ മച്ച് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ സോ ദൈറ്റ്സ്റ്റിംഗ്ലിസ്റ്റിംഗ്ലിക്കവേഡ് relates what does it mean distinctly means directly indubitably samshayam illade strictly krithyamayittu unmistakably thettu koodave ar 2004 supreme court 
അപ്പോൾ ഡിസ്കവറി ഓഫ് ഫാക്ടിന് ആവശ്യമുള്ള ഭാഗം മാത്രം മതി അപ്പോൾ കത്തി ഞാൻ ആഞ്ഞിലടി കൂട്ടി കുഴിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അത് കണ്ടെടുക്കാൻ അതുപോലെ കണ്ടെടുക്കാൻ അത് മതി മറ്റൊക്കെ പാസ്റ്റ് യൂസർ ആണെന്ന് ആര് പറഞ്ഞ് പുലിക്കുറി കോട്ടയ്യ പറഞ്ഞ് അല്ലെ എ ആർ നയൻറ്റി ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ പി സി സിക്സ്റ്റി സെവൻ അതാണുള്ള ക്ലാസിക് ഡിസിഷൻ ക്ലാസിക് ഡിസിഷൻ അതാണ് റിക്കവറിയെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് ഡിസ്കവറി ഓഫ് ഫാക്ടിനെ സംബന്ധിച്ചോളം whether it amounts to confession or not so whether that fact discovered the information given is uh, which is distinctly relates to the discovery of fact amounts to confession or not that part is admissible anna pinna confession nu parna porayirunno pattilla pinna endina confession nu parayan karanam karam etra ellam nammal cut cheythu kalanju kinnalum split cheythu eduthu kinnalum ennalum chelappol aithe etra confession kaan മനസ്സിലായോ അതെങ്ങനെയാ വരുന്നതെന്ന് ഞാൻ കാണിച്ചു തരാം ഉദാഹരണത്തിന് ഒരാൾ മോഷിച്ചു ആ മോഷിച്ച സാധനം എന്ത് ചെയ്ത് കുഴിച്ചിട്ട് അയാൾ കൊണ്ട് കുഴിച്ചിട്ട് കൺസീൽ ചെയ്ത് അപ്പോ മോഷിച്ച സാധനം അയാൾ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് മാല ഞാൻ കുഴിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് മാല കുഴിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് ഉറപ്പ് അതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്തായി അങ്ങനെ ഓഫൻസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ പോലും AR 1970 Supreme Court 1934 bracket 1 there are page two decisions on that so i have explained i have explained every time not i have explained i have brought your notice the explanation given by the supreme court for every time in section 27 so with that we can close this uh, because it is already 12:30 30 minutes more i have taken uh, there are many many uh, facts we can, we can we can take notice of general provisions are there Unfortunately, it's an exception to rule against the here, the 27th doctrine behind and learn from the commentary in the get to know about it. Is it a good one? What do you want to know about it? But the Supreme Court has said that the information should not be so truncated. I'm going to last to burn it. Awesome. The information should not be so truncated. that it becomes insensible or incomprehensible ar 2002 supreme court 